Here we want to be able to find equations of lines that go through two specific points. They could be any two points in space. One of them will have the coordinates what we'll call x1, y1. And the other one can have the coordinates x2, y2. Now from those points, we will determine what the slope of the line is. That's the m value. And we'll also determine what the intercept is, the b value. So let's take a look at this first example where we see that x1 can be 0 and y1 is also 0. Then we see that x2 can be 6 and y2 can be 3. Calculating the slope requires the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we just have to plug the numbers into the right place here. <clears throat> In a future video, we'll look more um, into the meaning of the slope. But for now, let's just get the number for it. So you got to plug in four things here. Okay, x1 is 0. That goes down here. y1 is 0, but that goes up here. x2 is 6. That goes in the lower left, and y2, the 3 goes in the upper left. Simple as that is just plugging the numbers into the right place in the formula and then doing the subtraction and division. So this is going to be 3 over 6, which will reduce on calculator to 1 half. All right, now that we know the m value, the slope, um, we're almost there. We just have to find the intercept, the b value. Notice that the 0, 0 is at the origin, and that is technically a y-intercept. So our b is simply 0. Now we can write our equation. It's y equals 1 half x plus 0. And then to simplify it, you don't even need the plus 0 part. OK, great. Let's try it on this, the next one. Same formula. Once you've done this, uh, you know a few times, you can just look at the points and find the y2 and the y1. You just want to subtract them two on top. So we want two minus two on top. Then you can identify the x2 and the x1 and subtract them on bottom. Okay, it looks like we'll get 0 over 5, which is a slope of 0. How about the b? Well, once again, the y-intercept is given. That's really helpful. If the y-intercept is given, 0, 2, then I can see that the b is clearly 2 here. 
Why? Because it's attached to an x of 0. All y-intercepts have an x of 0, so that must be the b value. All right, so the answer we're looking for here would be y equals 0x plus 2. But we do want to simplify that. Let's just make it y equals 2. All right, and then this last one's actually the toughest one. Here's why. It doesn't tell you what the y-intercept is. None of those points is actually on the y-axis. So when we go to find the slope, it's still the same approach. We'll want to do 0 minus something over something minus something. Notice, though, that our x1 here is a negative 4. So when you go to plug that in, you have to take the negative with it. And the same goes for the negative 2. OK, so this is your x1, y1. x2 y2. So 0 minus negative 2. It's important to keep that double negative in there. And over here you'll have 4 minus negative 4. So double negative will uh, change to a positive here. So it's 2 over 8, which is 1 fourth. OK, we've got the M, but we still don't have the B. So how do we find the B? Fill in what you can. Plug in your M value. And now we, um, we need to get that B. So here's how to do it. We'll actually use algebra to do it. You have to pick one of the points. Whichever one you want, it'll work out either way. I'm going to pick 4, 0. Remember, that is a x and a y that's a solution to this line. Um, but in the past, we used the equation of the line to find the solution. Here, we're going to use the solution to find the equation. So you got to plug in a 0 for y. And you got to plug in a 4 for x. Now you got an equation of just one variable that we can solve. You see the, the y had to go here. The x has to go here. It's from the point, from the given point. Now you solve it. You get 0 equals 1 plus b. Then you got to solve by subtracting to reveal that b is negative 1. Now 
now that we know what B is and M, we can finally find the final answer. Y equals one fourth X minus one. Now, in order to check that this really is correct, you could plug in one of the solutions and make sure that it, it checks. So like take that negative four, negative two. Plug in your negative two for y. Plug in your negative four for x. See if it checks. Negative two, that'll be a negative one. Negative two equals negative two, it checks. And you could check it for the other solution as well. Uh, and it checks.